Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Tolleson Life Channel. It's time for me to do a little maintenance here on the Tiffin Motor Home. Today's task is to change the oil in the 6.8 liter V10 Ford engine. This is my first time changing the oil uh, on this vehicle, but because I change it on all my other vehicles, including both motorcycles, I hope and believe this would be just as easy. But if you're considering purchasing a, a motor home with a V10 in it, or you're considering changing your own oil, then stick around and we'll find out together how difficult or easy this task is. The tools we'll need for this job is a 5 8 socket with a ratchet, an oil filter wrench, a funnel, an oil pan, and paper towels will always be helpful. I also use some cardboard to help protect my driveway from any splatter. Now the owner's manual reads that we'll need seven quarts of 5W20 premium synthetic blend motor oil. The oil filter it calls for is a Motocraft FL820S. Now where I purchased my oil, they didn't have a Motocraft filter, so I got Fram's equivalent to the 820S, which is the PH2. So the normal scheduled maintenance to change your oil is every 7,500 miles or six months. Again, that's in the owner's manual. I've already warmed up the engine, which will help the oil to drain better. Now, let's have a look underneath. So what I do is before I change the oil, I always take this off or at least loosen it. All right, so I'll do that. Okay, so now we're up under the RV and you can see, see it right there? That's my drain plug and right here is the oil filter. So we're gonna remove that in just a minute, but first we're gonna get this drain plug. Now, the trick here that I'm seeing that's a little different from my automobiles is this drain plug is right on top of this cross member. So if I drain that right here, it's just going to run all over this cross member, which, you know, if it does, that's fine. But you're just going to have a, a bigger cleanup um, on your hands if it runs on that cross beam. So I'm going to get this red funnel that I showed you a second ago, and I'm going to wedge that up in there. And then I'm going to actually route the oil through the funnel into my catch pan here. So let me show you how that's going to go. So what I'm going to do now is to wedge this big funnel right here underneath there yeah so first thing i'm going to do is loosen it and then i'll be able to all right so we're just going to take the drain plug out here i know you can't see it from this angle but i'm just loosening it up here and there we go you see the oil coming out down here hopefully that worked out nicely with this funnel you see now i don't have a big mess here to clean up uh running over the cross member so we'll let that drain all right now we're gonna get the oil filter off so up to this point everything had been pretty much routine until i tried to remove the oil filter i mean that thing was on there I was using all the force I could muster while at an odd angle. My go-to oil filter wrench just simply couldn't hold the grip. It continued to slip off. And then I tried it again with an extension, hoping for maybe more leverage. And that didn't work. And then I went to another oil filter wrench. And after some significant force, I was finally able to remove it. That thing was a bear to get off. You can see I, I couldn't even use the traditional uh, oil filter rinse that I use. I, I actually had to use another one. And, man, it took almost two of us to pull this thing off. L look at that. That thing was on there super, super tight. So be ready if you change it for the first time. It could be a little tough to get off. Here's the new filter, right? And what I always do is put oil in the filter itself. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and top that on off, especially with this kind of filter, because it goes straight up. So I'm gonna put some oil in there. Let that settle a little bit, and then I'm actually gonna, with a clean glove, put some oil around the gasket right here. That helps it to seal a little better, 
and also maybe would, would help keep from tweaking it a little bit so now I've just replaced the old filter with a new filter and again we're going to hand tighten Alright, so now we've got the, the drain plug in there. We're just going to snug it up. Alright, now, uh, again, I don't have the torque value in this. The owner's manual does not give me a torque value. You can find torque values on V10s on the internet, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. I, uh, I'm just going to snug it up really well and keep a good eye on it. As I do on all the stuff that I change There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's wipe all this down. Make sure everything's good to go here. And now we'll go up back up top. Fill it up, then we're done. It calls for seven quarts, but we're going to start. We're going to fill it with six quarts, and then we'll run it and check it from there. But uh, we'll see. All right, so because this is kind of an odd angle, we're going to see how this works. So here's the tricky part is trying to actually get your oil into the fill area here. And you can see it's a little bit tricky, but with this, I'm hoping with this funnel we'll be all right. Here's another angle. <laughs> all about options here. This would be court six. And as you can see, this is much easier to get up in the underneath the engine here. Yeah, see that? So we just ran the engine for a few minutes here and we let it sit for a few minutes. Now we're going to check the level. And those of you that own, own, own one of these, look how long, look at, <laughs> that's what you call a dipstick right there. So it looks like, after checking the oil, it looks like it might be a half a quart below full. So I'm going to put a half a quart in, and then we'll drive it for about 100 miles on our next trip. And then I'll double check it then. So, so it may not hold seven, all seven quarts, but it may. But right now, it looks like it's about a half a quart low. Giggles, we actually poured the old oil that was in the catch pan back into the empty oil containers that we had to see how much oil actually came out of the RV. Uh, we actually poured back in six and a half quarts, so, and that's what we put in. So that, that makes sense. And now yours may vary, but it looks like we emptied six and a half and we put six and a half quarts back in. So again, we'll check it after about another 100 miles. Hey guys, there we are. We're done with the oil change. Uh, pretty simple, just like it is with automobiles. I think the most difficult thing we had was trying to get that oil filter off. Man, that thing was on there. But everything else was pretty much routine, so I hope this was beneficial to you. If it was, don't forget to smash that like button and uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already, if you want to see more videos in the future. Until next time, be well and stay safe.